Hey, this is Chris, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about financial advice and whether it's only for wealthy people. Um, now, first of all, why do people go and get financial advice? Um, I think financial advice is something that people get in a similar vein to why you would get a personal trainer. Um, you get a personal trainer, not because you don't know how to exercise, but it's someone that can help keep you accountable, um, help you get access to the right um, tools, the right machines, make sure you're on the right regime, you've got the right diet. It's basically providing guidance and support as well as access to the right tools. Um, financial advisors are the same. What they aim to do is listen to where you aim to be, what your goals and aspirations are, you know, what's important to you. And then they aim um, to set you up with the right financial tools and access to the right financial products to get you there. Um, so there is certainly a role for financial advice. And one of the reasons I set up StockSpot was actually because I noticed that financial advice was becoming less and less accessible to the masses. Um, over time, financial advice has got more and more expensive because mainly it's become more and more labor intensive. And in Australia, people are expensive and you're paying for their time. Um, all of the research has basically showed that financial advice, um, just to see someone to start off with, um, costs thousands of dollars. And then the cost of ongoing advice, as well as getting product advice in Australia, easily ends up in the thousands, if not tens of thousands, um, which means that for someone with less than at least a few hundred thousand dollars, and in many cases, a million dollars plus, it's just not affordable or realistic to go and get financial advice. Um, so certainly it is the trend that traditional financial advice is becoming harder and harder to access. Um, there are actually less and less financial advisors each year. I think 6,000 left the profession last year. The costs of getting advice are getting higher. And many of the traditional advice providers and particularly larger wealth managers are now saying, we just will not talk to you unless you've got a million dollars or some are even saying $2 million now, which is crazy because most Australians don't have that amount of money. Um, so my vision for financial advice actually is that the role of a financial advisor has to change. They simply can't just be spending time with people and filling out forms um, because it's too expensive. And actually the future of financial advice will be that advisors become, like personal trainers, curators of the best products and services out there. So you won't need to spend a lot of time with them. Um, you'll probably be able to just see them online rather than go into a stuffy office somewhere. And also rather than just promoting their own products, which sadly a lot of advisors used to do in Australia, they'll have all of the products to choose from and their job will be able to pick and choose the right products for you. They'll be able to pick and choose different digital products, whether it's digital investing products, digital mortgage products, as well as other products and services to make sure that you have the best possible chance of reaching your financial goals. Um, so sadly, it has been the case that financial advice has only been the wealthy, but the beautiful thing is that technology is making it more accessible to more people. And I expect over the next 10 years, more Aussies will actually be getting financial advice, but it won't be an old school financial plan that's hundreds of pages. It will actually be specific advice around areas that people want advice um, for at the time in their life that they actually want that advice. So getting advice when you're going to get a mortgage for the first time, or when you're looking to invest for the first time, or looking to set up for your kids' education in the future. These are all moments in people's lives where they wanna get advice, and that's when they're gonna get advice in the future. And it's gonna be affordable and accessible and largely online. Um, if you have views about the future of financial advice, I'd love to hear them. So please comment below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, absolutely subscribe as well.